Well, we've done it. Science said it couldn't be done, but we did it anyways because science can't tell me what to do. We've gone and taken the most simple, most basic ability in Bravely Default 2, the most basic ability of any RPG, of most video games even, and have made it broken. Welcome to Bravely Default 2 Custom Builds. Yep, it's me, Red, yet again. Today we're going to make the attack action overpowered. Now this build actually has a bit of an origin story to it. The original concept for the Mystic Warrior came from a conversation in my Discord, link in the description. One member was asking about how much healing one received from the Drain attack passive from the White Mage, and was curious how much it would heal in comparison to the damage one would take from the Berserker's Bloody Minded passive. I gave it a test, and the results were... interesting. As it turns out, Drain Attack will heal you for exactly the same amount of HP you lose from Bloody Minded. And that got me thinking about a build. So let's get to it. Right after you smash those like and subscribe buttons, of course, baby! Alright, all good? Okay, let's start. Alright then, Mystic Warrior. The name might sound kind of familiar to fans of Final Fantasy V, and that would make sense because this is me making the Mystic Knight in Bravely Default 2. The reason I didn't call it a Mystic Knight, though, aside from not wanting to directly copy it, is because there's nothing good and chivalrous about what we're doing here. This is the job setup equivalent of barbarism, so warrior seemed more fitting. For our Mystic Warrior, we're going to be using Swordmaster main with Oracle Secondary. Swordmaster specialties are already insane enough for this build, so let's make it crazier. First off, we're going to use the two abilities I tested previously, Drain Attack and Bloody Minded. If you're unaware of what these do exactly, don't worry, we'll go over it shortly. Then we want to add on Counter Savvy, Dual Wield, and your choice of either Mashed Potatoes or French- I'm just kidding, it's Multitask or Indiscriminate Rage. I like to go for Multitask myself with this build. As for equipment, since we have Dual Wield, we'll want to take two swords on this bad boy. And we're good to go. So what exactly is this thing doing? Well, to start, let's just go over why the test being successful is so uber insane. Bloody Minded is a Berserker passive that makes it so all of your basic attacks will always land, along with any other physical damage commands, I'm assuming, but they cost a small amount of HP in the process. Drain Attack, however, heals you for an amount of damage you do with your basic attacks. And would you know it, these two values are exactly the same. You will always land your hits, and you will always gain back exactly however much health you lose from Bloody Minded. So that's already scuffed as it is. Now we're going to make it even worse. Worried about counterattacks from bosses? Counter Savvy solves that problem. Now you evade all counters to physical attacks. Dual wield removes the damage reduction from wielding two weapons, which is great, but not the reason we're going for Kirito's status as number one dual wielding shitlord. You see, Swordmaster has a really fun second specialty called Double Duty. If you use the same weapon type in both hands, you can activate sub-job specialties. So what does the Oracle have to offer us? Well, specialty 1 makes us deal 40% more damage when exploiting an elemental weakness and reduces elemental spell costs by 40%, and specialty 2 gives us stat adjustments and weapon aptitudes from the secondary job. And finally, multitask gives you a 33% chance of attacking again after landing one. If you opt for indiscriminate rage, you can hit all enemies with a single attack instead, However, note that Drain Attack will not heal you for either of these, even though Bloody Minded will still proc. Alternatively, you can swap in Last Resort if you want to play the 1 HP game with these two, but that's up to you. So the Swordmaster is getting boosted from all these passives and specialties interacting with each other. But what do we actually do in combat? Well, as the name implies, we can use the Oracle's Elemental Supplement to add elemental damage to our attacks. Yes, this is a very complicated spell fencer. And it's 50 times better, so shut up. The Oracle also has Quick God, which can increase the number of hits we're landing per attack. Then, if we enter Solid Stance from the Swordmaster, our attacks will be doubled, which is really awesome. And then there's some other awesome damage abilities like Ninefold Flurry and such, but again, those are not covered under Drain Attack Life Insurance, so when they land, they will take some health from you. So, the Mystic Warrior never misses, never gets countered, and delivers an unyielding barrage of attacks to utterly obliterate your foes. I'd say that's a job well done. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this custom build for Bravely Default 2. If you have any jobs you'd like to see in a future build, or themes for builds to come, drop me a comment down below. Next build is... well, it's certainly something, I'll say that much. But you'll have to tune in next time to see it, so make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out. Alright. 
Thanks for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you soon.